Hello, I'm Jerry with Marvair. Electric heat can now easily be installed in the field to Marvair's Modpack and Compact air conditioners. For a distributor, this reduces inventory by being able to add heat to any unit in his stock. Before we begin, several safety issues should be addressed. First, if the air conditioner is installed, turn off all breakers or disconnects to make sure there's no power to the unit. There must be a one inch clearance on all four sides of the supply duct flange. And the one inch clearance must extend on all sides of any supply duct for the first three feet of the duct for units with electric heat. Refer to the National Fire Protection Standard 90A and 90B for specifications on the design and installation of any duct. The tools required are cordless drill, a 5 16 nut set or socket, 3 8 nut driver, wire cutters, box cutter or knife, screwdriver, permanent marker, wire ties, and a ladder. In the heater kit you should find the heater assembly, a contactor, four number 10 screws, a wiring diagram, two strips of closed cell insulation, three pop ties, and Marvair decals. To begin, remove the top front panel and the bottom front panel. Next, remove the control box cover and the air filter. The heater assembly is installed from the side of the unit. The next step is to remove the heater access plate by removing the four screws, but only loosening the top two. With your box cutter or knife, cut the insulation on two sides and along the top and fold it down. Do not remove the insulation. Connect the conductors with the insulated ends to the heater as shown in the wiring diagram. Slide the heater assembly through the opening and into place by inserting the stem on the assembly into the hole at the far end of the heater bracket. The holes nearest to the indoor coil are for three element heaters and the holes farthest away from the coil are for all other heaters. Secure the heater assembly with the two number 10 screws that came with the heater kit. Route the conductors in the wire harness through the hole in the drain pan and then down through the filter bracket and into the control box. Install one pop tie in the hole in the back panel and the other two in the back of the control box to secure the conductors. Install one of the closed cell strips around the conductors where they pass through the opening in the drain pan and the other where they pass through the heater bracket. This will prevent air from recirculating. In the control box, install the heater contactor with two screws. Mounting holes have been pre-drilled. Connect the conductors to the heat contactor as shown on the wiring diagram. To access the rear of the voltage terminal board, remove the screw at the lower right corner of the board. Bundle any loose wires in the control box with wire ties. Place the HC decal next to the heat contactor. Check to see that all connections on the heater assembly and the contactor are tight and secure. To test the heater in a Modpack air conditioner, Place a jumper wire between terminals 10 and 4 on the low voltage terminal board. Turn on the power to the unit. The indoor blower and heater should be on. If not, disconnect the power and check all connections. To verify that the heater is operating properly, use a clamp on amp meter and measure the amperage of each leg of the heater. Verify that it is within 10% of the amperage shown on the data label. Place the wiring diagram that was packed with the heater kit inside the Ziploc bag. The bag is attached to the back of the control box cover. Turn off the power and remove the jumper. Replace the heater access panel.
replace the control box cover. With a permanent marker, place an X in the space provided next to the heater kit rating of the installed heater on the data label. Replace the air filter. Replace lower and upper front panels. A complete description of the heater's installation can be found in each unit's owner's and installation manual. For more videos on Marvair products, please visit our website at www.marvair.com videos.